you can find your way through. Use the force! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm a humble narrator and welcome to Blue Rider. A very interesting foray into the top-down shoot-em-up genre. There are lots of different enemies and lots of different bosses. It's kind of a light bullet hell game, I'd put it along the lines of Astabreed or something like that. But if you're looking to get into the shoot 'em up genre, this is probably a really good one for you. Uh, Solar Shifter is another really good intro one, probably easier than this. So this, I put this between Astabreed and Solar Shifter, if you have played either one of those. The landscapes in this game are extremely varied, which is nice, but the gameplay doesn't change much between them. However, that's uh, a positive because it has uh, one of the only water levels that doesn't suck in video games. <laughs> So if you want to get as far as possible in this game, you basically need to start from level 1. This will allow you to stack more points, which means extra lives, and it will also uh, increase your power-ups power ups significantly. There are only two uh, primary weapons, two secondary weapons. Secondary weapon is a missile, uh, but there is a lot of treats to find, such as this relic over here. And that will just increase your score, but it is kind of nice to go seek them out. So friends, I will get to my score breakdown for Blue Rider. The controls I've given a 9 out of 10. There is controller support, there is keyboard controls, they both feel equally awesome. I love, love, love it. And I've given the fun factor for this game a 6 out of 10. Replaying the levels in order to get uh, enough power to push your way through is frustrating, uh, unless you're a bullet hell master, which I am not, and this game will, will teach you in a very hard way. I think maybe the difficulty should be lightened up just a little bit, but yeah, that ties into the difficulty score. Difficulty is definitely a 10 out of 10. It is a freaking hard game. You'll spend a long time trying to complete this, unless uh, you're a super bullet hill master. I bounce back a lot of back and forth a lot on the uh, replayability score. There is a high score system, um, motivation to to play through multiple times. However. Um, lack of weapons left me befuddled and overall I just wasn't really uh, satisfied didn't see myself playing it again especially because I've trudged through the first four levels so many times trying to beat the shit out of Cthulhu so replayability I've given a 2 out of 10 I'm not sure uh, it's something that I would come back to after I've beaten however I am determined to beat it so uh, take from that what you will I've put about eight hours into it and still have only gotten to level five. So extremely, extremely hard. Such a frustrating game, but it will uh, test your test your bullet hell might. <laughs> you want to train in bullet hell? This is this is a good one. Uh, innovation. I've given a four out of ten. I have definitely seen a top-down shooter before. I definitely like how uh, the direction they've taken it. The missiles are a nice addition. I would like to see some more weapons and things like that. I've given the innovation a 4 out of 10. Um, just because I felt that it could have gone further. Just like in the replayability department. It, it felt to me like it was lacking. Um, there's a lot of potential in this game. And I'd like to see that met. It was in some ways, but in other ways, um, not really. Anyways, in the aesthetic department, I have the uh, graphics at a 7 out of 10. Extremely nice models, a little bit chunky for my taste, but that is the style that uh, they're going for. And it's, it's a nice, nice reprieve. Generally, you're just uh, shooting up robots and it's really dark and edgy and metallic and this adds a little bit of color to that which is definitely something that I like in my games and uh, the colorful cartoony models are definitely are definitely uh, something you know I'd feel comfortable letting children play I'd be like yeah this is a good game for you they, you just blow up the robots it's fun even if uh, they'd probably get owned on like the second or third stage it's still fun I had a lot of fun playing Super Nintendo games that I never got past the second or third stage of uh, the music I've given a 10 out of 10 I fucking love the music the instruments are really mellow but then it gets into like this up-tempo beat and it's so fucking tasty something that I would put on my iPod um, and if there is a soundtrack available please let me know because I want it 
Oh god. Yes, 10 out of 10 for the soundtrack, definitely. Um, so yeah, if you like difficulty with a nice soundtrack, this is the game for you, definitely. 10 out of 10 in both of those areas. The sound effects I've given a 6 out of 10. The gun effects can be lowered in the options, but um, default they are quite high, yes. I like the explosion sounds and such, um, but I don't think that it was enough to really sway me. It is above average, but only slightly. The story I've given a 0 out of 10. There is basically no story to this game. You're the Blue Rider. Go kill some shit. It's like, okay. Kill the red guys. I guess that's why. They're just a different color than you. And if that's the story, then I, I don't condone it. <laughs> 0 out of 10. Uh, level design I've given a 6 out of 10. Definitely a lot of things to explore, although not much reward for doing so aside from some high score, which can add to your life total. But in the end, it's uh, mostly just to say that you did it. Maybe there are achievements for it. I'm unsure at this time. So friends, my sc final score for Blue Rider is a 60 out of 100. 3 out of 5 stars. A really, really solid entry from Ravegan. I thank them for letting us take it for a test drive. I... I'm not uh, extremely adept at bullet hell games, however, this was a, a good trainer course. I'll definitely come back to it, try and finish it, oh my god, uh, but sitting down 30 minutes for a run from level 1 is, is extremely trying, um, even though I guess you could just run it from, from the original level, but not being powerful is, it hurts, it definitely hurts. So, go give it a try if you enjoy the bullet hell genre. I won't discourage that. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, friends. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.